uh, and it's more open than Microsoft Azure. So on one side you have Microsoft Azure. Um, however, Bedrock is not a service that is available in all the locations around the world. Okay, there are specific locations where Bedrock is available at this point in time. Uh, I'm sure AWS is slowly expanding the locations where Bedrock would be available. Um, and then Azure is tightly coupled with OpenAI's roadmap, which basically means that the way OpenAI develops, it, um, Azure is going to, you know, develop accordingly. AWS offers a lot more model diversity, um, which means you can pick and choose. You have quite a lot of choice there. Then we come to developer tooling in which Azure uh, machine learning includes uh, auto ML, drag and drop UI, and then uh, responsible AI dashboards, basically uh, it gives you a very, very granular report about environment sustainability governance. And then it has the power platform that enables you to do low code um, scenarios, you know, integration for low code scenarios. On the other hand, you have AWS, which has SageMaker, which uh, supports the full machine learning life cycle from data prep to training to deployment to monitoring with notebooks and pipelines and everything, right? So SageMaker is there as a developer platform which enables end-to-end -end AI development. Azure is ideal for enterprise integration. AWS gives developers better flexibility and better uh, granular control and customization. So depending upon what you're looking for, you pick and choose your cloud platform. 